Hello Christians and fellow saints. This is Kamala making a video as I muse. Um, I'm thinking about scripture as per scripture says, give no thought to evil for the evil of the day is sufficient thereof. And I'm not going to cite any book or verse because I'm walking right now. So as far as gang stalking, they get you guys get a chance to repent of your sins now i want you to know what you're participating in i've already made many videos saying that you're involved in a demonic network so you can take that with whatever you want i say take that thought to the lord that's what i say about that but i want you to know that the right hand often doesn't know what the left hand is doing so not all of you are aware of what gang stalker a does or b or c and you might be gang stalker g so i want you to know that not only does a gang stalking involve theft of properties numerous violations of man's laws and god's laws tampering with the mail this is so big it goes all the way up to the department of defense customs is involved things like that this is true but i want you to know this part of it the physical assaults these directed energy weapons and god strike me dead right now if i lie god hates lying lips i work out my salvation with fear and trembling as should you and if I would be lying about this God would be very angry at me so I'm going to tell you the directed energy weapons that they use actually physically assault people I have been lying on my own sofa dozed off and been a punch from underneath my sofa three times that happened but there's nothing nothing there under my sofa at all it's a directed energy weapon i have been sound asleep in my bed and been felt like a taser but i've never been tased that's the only thing i could think of electric shock so bad i jumped straight up out of bed at two o'clock in the morning that's another thing so ask yourself do you want to keep participating in physical assaults on other people that you may or may not even know okay and by two or three witnesses that she'll be established. These assaults also happened to my daughter. She was punched in her body, literally punched, her body felt. So that's another witness for it. She knows this to be the truth. Another thing they do is they like to use a sleep deprivation technique. So last night I was awoken to something hitting my bed frame so hard that my bed frame shook and it shook and it woke me out of a dead sleep now that must have come through my window a directed energy weapon it was on my side of the bed another one that they do is well the punches the um slamming the bed um making things sound like something buzzers are going off in your house to wake you up out of a dead sleep because they want to sleep to deprive you so they cannot take away your mental awareness and i say they can't guard your mind as per scripture and keep the word on your heart stay close to the lord and know that the lord will deliver every single targeted individual from this evil because it is as per the lord has given me <clears throat> the exact scripture where evil is called good and good is called evil and why i say this is lawlessness abounds when the people that are to uphold the law are the ones perpetuating crimes against humanity just like hitler and the nazis they were the ones in control of the law. And look at the insane, inhumane things they did to people. Well, that's going on right here in the good old U.S. of A. And like I said, God strike me dead if I lie. I would not do it. I want the truth to be out there. So gang stalker A through Z, you guys have a chance now to be aware that you're actually participating in physical 
harm, and it may be even ultimately a murder of another human being, because targets have been murdered, you know that, right? Sure, they have. So, ask yourself if you want to sit before the Lord with Jesus at his right hand and answer to those questions why you had to pick the moat out of your brother's eye when you had a plank in your own. Repent before it's too late. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.